Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. Luton Shelton died at age 35. Luton Shelton, one of Jamaica's most prolific goal scorer, died on Friday at the Andrews Memorial Hospital in St. Andrew. He was 35 years old. The talented footballer was pronounced dead after he developed complications and was unresponsive when he was rushed to the hospital. Shelton, since 2016, has been battling ALS. ALS disease is an illness that causes the motor neurons inside your spinal cord to die. Over time, the muscles degenerate and you lose the ability to move, speak, swallow, and eventually breathe. Shelton was diagnosed with the cruel illness 19 months after he got injured while representing Harborview Football Club in a Red Stripe Premier League game against Tivoli Gardens at the National Stadium. That game, which took place on February 21, 2017, was the last football match for Shelton. Only one man, Ted Haradon of Los Angeles in California, in record medical history ever recovered from ALS. Shelton made his international debut for Jamaica in 2004 and went on to earn 75 caps scoring a record 35 goals. Shelton represented Woolmer's Boys High School before moving to Harborview FC, which he scored 44 goals. He then went overseas and played for a number of clubs in Sweden, England, Norway, Turkey, and Russia. Shelton is survived by his wife Babette and three children. Man gone down at shop in St. Bez, three fatalities there in 24 hours. The police in St. Elizabeth are probing the murder of a man at a shop in Treasure Beach, St. Elizabeth on Thursday night. The deceased has been identified as Adrian Lewis, a construction worker and businessman. He was said to be in his 30s. According to reports, about 6.40 p.m., Lewis was among patrons at a shop in the area when a motor car was driven up. Further reports are that the armed men alighted from the vehicle, entered the shop, and shot Lewis multiple times. The other persons in the shop were reportedly not harmed. The hoodlums then fled the scene in their waiting motor car. Lewis was taken to a hospital where he was pronounced dead. The murder is the third fatal shooting incident to be reported in St. Elizabeth since Wednesday. According to police reports, 62-year-old Raphael Robertson, a former in Silo, and 41-year-old John Bolin, a fisherman of Black River, both in St. Elizabeth, were shot dead in separate shooting incidents on Wednesday. Robertson was shot dead allegedly by a security guard during a dispute in the Barton community within the parish at about 5 p.m. In the second incident, Bolin was found with bullet wounds at his home in Black River after residents heard loud explosions coming from the home sometime after 7 p.m. He was later pronounced dead at hospital. The St. Elizabeth police are probing all three tragic developments. JCF's Criminal Records Office to Relocate The Criminal Records Office, CRO, will be relocating to 56 Duke Street in downtown Kingston on Monday, February 1. To facilitate the reopening, special arrangements and adjustments have been put in place to reduce the risk of the spread of COVID-19. Open hours will be Mondays to Thursdays between the hours of 8.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. on Fridays. Services will be conducted between 8.30 a.m. and 3 p.m. Applicants are required to make their payment at any tax office, then contact the CRO to share their receipt number and schedule an appointment. All applicants must wear masks and will be subjected to temperature checks and sanitization of hands. Same-day processing of applications have been suspended until further notice. Persons may call, WhatsApp or text Kingston 876-224-1011, submit subsites St. James 876-224-1012, Maypen Clarendon 876-224-1014, St. Mary 876-975-5066. The applicants are to have their receipt number readily available to quote when making the appointment to facilitate. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and click the notification bell for daily updates.